Hello and welcome to Arizona. This is a late night reading instead of an early morning reading. It's not midnight yet here, and it is still 90 some degrees, so it's kind of warm out here. We are on my front porch full of twinkle lights. So I'm going to pull some cards here, and uh, let's see what, if anything, the universe or spirit has to say to us before we turn in for a good night's sleep. Okay. <laughs> Naturally. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well. We we started off with the devil. Is he showing up? Yes, he is. Let's put him on this side. There we go. Yeah, we started off with the devil reverse. So someone must be overcoming their weaknesses or getting over their obsession or <laughs> or uh, leaving behind something that they were um, connected to that, that was just couldn't be any worse for them than anything. Yeah, breaking chains and, and cords that bind to people or circumstances or habits um, that are, are so bad for you. It's like it's in its reverse state. It's like coming up out of this self-imposed torture, kind of, because um, people who are, are ruled by their obsessions and their addictions and, and all these um, little quirks of life, you know, habits and things that are, are bad for us. Um, it um, impacts life. So anyway, we started off with that. So I I'm, I'm, feel like I'm rambling now that I'm <laughs> sleepy. So. Um, okay, we, we started off with that. We're going to come up out of that. And it's a good thing we do because we're at a crossroads and we're at a decision. And this decision could very well... Um, be connected to um, a relationship, and, and I mean a serious relationship. This is a long-term commitment, and this isn't a fly-by-night, ships passing in the night type of thing. This is, I'll be with you for the next 30, 40 years, come hell or high water, in sickness and in health and all that good stuff. So there's a very serious decision here um, about a relationship. The fourth card that came up with that... Let's see, Empress. Lots of female energy here. Uh, let me look at the card. I have to see them. I have to lay them down. I let you see them now. I have to lay them down and, and let them kind of play with each other. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> um. Well, the thing that could be causing some of the problems for this couple, yes, the story, the story unfolds. Um, it, it's it's feeling a lot like mother-in-law energy. It's feeling like an older female who is interfering um, um, with a, a couple or their life or their decisions or um, you know just their interactions together. There's a lot of ways that um, interference can can come from, from that arena and lots of ways that it can infiltrate a relationship and, and it, that it can change opinions, especially especially um, my experience was being connected to a very wishy-washy person. You know, if they spend five minutes with um, certain members of the family, they they totally change how they think about things and they, they take on their opinions. If you spend five minutes with someone else, totally change again and they take on those appearance so there are wishy-washy people out there who are just very easily influenced and that's the feeling that I'm getting that someone somewhere has an older maternal figure that is influencing someone within a relationship in a negative way in a negative way is she the addiction is she the addiction that you need to be getting over oh, I thought something fell on the table no Never mind, we're good. 
So is she the addiction that you uh, that you need to, to get over? Is some is a, someone's mother interfering in their marriage or their relationship to the point where it's going to make um, problems that will just be problems that will just infiltrate and um, create crevices and cracks in the structure and in the marriage and in the relationship. Okay. Oh my gosh. So how interesting. This has never come up before. It honestly hasn't. So I think that I'm going to cut the deck. Can you hear the crickets? Lots of crickets down there. The crickets in Arizona are not black like the crickets in uh, Nebraska that I'm used to, they are tan. They match the sand. And everything down here is tan. <laughs> okay, let's cut this deck and uh, see what, what is going to be the outcome for this couple. We're going to have to pull more cards. The card that I that I got right now, it's like um, being stabbed in the back. Um, being pinned to the wall, um, uh, and I'm feeling also with this that a lot of this is verbal. So this uh, this Empress's um, um, sway and um, influence. Um, Oops, so this Empr Empress's sway and influence. Um, I feel that it, it's mostly a verbal thing. Um, she uh, puts way too much opinion. She uh, sticks her nose into decisions that are being made. She pressures um, whichever one of the parties of this couple that um, is her child. She pressures them to make decisions um, that how she sees they should be. It's actually, it's actually causing so much conflict in the relationship that someone uh, really uh, needs to decide which way they're going to go. Oh, wow. So as, as both a mother and a wife, I can see where it, it's, it's really difficult. It's like this card is saying to me, choose one, pick one. There has to be, um, there has to be one dominant um, connection in your life once you are uh, married or um with a partner, um, you still honor your parents, but your parents don't um, have the right to interfere in your relationships. Um, it's kind of like it's kind of like the feeling of um, a mother who has a really hard time letting a child go. It's like that child could be 40 years old and and uh, newly married now. That's, I don't know where that came from, but that's what I'm feeling. An older couple that. All of a sudden is starting out and married. Did some old bachelor get married out there? Or, or well, the mother's having a hard time letting him go. I don't know. I'm going to split one more card and then I'm going to go in because it's so hot out here yet. Oh, uh, Six of Cups reverse. Put it in the past. Put it in the past and start afresh. That's what I hear from the cards right now. Tomorrow's a new day, so any mistakes that have been made, um, um, uh, any any um, irresponsible decisions made, any influences coming from the wrong wrong space. This this is all was done yesterday. Tomorrow's a new day. You can start over. You can start over and. And put down your loyalties. Draw the line in the sand. This is our life. These are our decisions. Um, this is from now on. You know, my partner comes first. And, and that's kind of the way it has to be. <sighs> so, um, with that said, I am melting. The witch is melting. So, we're going to go in and get something cool to drink. And that will be all for now. Under my twinkly lights in a cricket filled Arizona hot summer night. Bye bye.